Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? Today we're going to go over another excerpt from the Bounty Hunter Codebook. If you haven't heard me talk about this book, this book is basically just a guidebook passed down to different bounty hunters. And inside the book you got everything from basically joining the Bounty Hunters Guild, what the requirements are, to the different types of bounties you can get, as well as the different weapons and things you can add to your arsenal of weaponry and equipment, including your armor. We're going to get to all that stuff, but today I want to go over the requirements for joining the Bounty Hunters Guild, which I thought was pretty interesting. We're going to read verbatim and then we can talk about it. So, as a guild hunter, you're going to attract attention, and anybody who's not too scared will pipe up and start asking questions. Dirty alley kids who like the painted flames on your armor, dumb farmers who shoot womp rats with slug throwers and think they can handle a real hunt, independent hunters who are desperate for the chance to do what you did and move up from the scrub leagues, and ask where they can go to sign up with the Bounty Hunters Guild. And that's when you'll tell them to go to the Void. Tell them to keep aiming low if they want to stay alive. Tell them to join the Imperial Army if they're so hot on wearing armor. No one who has the will to become a hunter will hear those words and run home crying. Standards for joining the guild are high. They should be, especially now that the Empire has cracked down on fringe worlds and sent so many homeless rimmers knocking on our door. Quoting from the BHG Administrative 249, Prerequisites, Conduct, and Regulations. Alright, so here we go. Each candidate for membership in the Bounty Hunters Guild must be sponsored by at least one existing member of the Bounty Hunters Guild. So this means if you want to be a bounty hunter, you need to have someone vouch for you. Seeing as how Din Djarin was a foundling, you know, discovered by the Mandalorians, I'm sure many of them would have vouched for him easily. Number two, each candidate for membership in the Bounty Hunters Guild must pay an evaluation fee of 750 credits. Number three, each candidate for membership in the Bounty Hunters Guild must have a minimum of five confirmed captures, with bounty payouts totaling at least 20,000 credits. So this means you have to have a little bit of experience before you even get entered into the guild. It's kind of like when you want to go for a job interview and they're like, well, what experience have you had? And it's like, well, this is my first job, so... Number four, each candidate for membership in the Bounty Hunters Guild must survive the initiation test. So that's also kind of like SEAL Team 6 training, I think, where they just throw you in the forest for a week and you got to survive by yourself, or is it two weeks? I'm not really sure. Either way, this is kind of like that, I guess. And then right underneath it, funnily enough, we have something written by Greedo. He says the initiation was rough. And then underneath that, Boss writes the initiation was a joke now throughout this whole book bosk is kind of the bad boy in town he just sort of scoffs at everyone's notes and just writes everything off like it's super easy now the narrator writes the last one's the kicker for my initiation i had to wrestle kradosk and i only lost a chunk of my shoulder but that clause the fighting fourth is the one that will scare off the scrubs if you face an initiation like mine you'll probably pass as long as you don't embarrass yourself or die which is plenty embarrassing Show some guts, and the guild won't care if you're short or you're built like a stick. The guild wants Raktor, as the Wookiees call it. The heart of a hunter, where Bosk once again writes in pen, Wookiee heart is delicious. Sure, some guild initiations are as tough as you've heard. The box is no rumor. It's a sealed cubic arena at the guild house on Sereno, built by the psychotic Findian inventor Moralo Eval during the Clone Wars. It's been chewing up rookie hunters ever since. What they like to do on Sereno is toss half a dozen fresh meat hopefuls into the box at the same time, with a guaranteed membership to the first to crawl back out. What's in there? Whatever the programmers cook up, the box is a challenge simulator made of shifting panels, and behind those panels is lots and lots of pain in one form or another. I'm not saying you'll die inside the box. Of course, I'm not saying you won't either. All I know is that on my last run out that way, the resupply crates stacked next to the maintenance hatch were labeled dioxys gas, incendiary propellant, and industrial cutting lasers. So those are the regulations and basically how you can join the guild. So it's not even just like a money thing. It's not even like an experience thing. And that last one, that fourth one, definitely makes it a little harder to even consider becoming a bounty hunter because you kind of got to put your life on the line. So with all those things, I hope you learned something new in today's video. I will catch you in the next one. Until then, remember, the force will be with you always.